Charles, on the topic of education, there's a song associated with the campaign. You can watch yeah. the music video on the website. Tell me about how the song came to be. Okay, well, the song was brought about by the Save the African Rhino Foundation because obviously what we are trying to do is not working. We have gone from having 3.8 rhinos or three rhinos a day being killed to four rhinos yeah. a day. It's gone from $90,000 a kg to $140,000 a kg for rhino horn. So what we're doing is not working. And this was why I was sort of roped in to bring about change through a different, act, a different way. And music is completely and utterly unbiased. It reaches every single person in every single continent in every single language. And what better way to unite the world than through song? So this is why on the 13th I tried to convince, luckily enough, Shannon to come and guest with me to do this live global hangout. And Slash from Guns N' Roses, I don't know if you've heard of him, but he's going to... Oh, uh, I think I might have heard of him <laughs> once before. He's going to give like us that. a call to, because they, we need to show and the Lance world... Lance Bass And Lance from Bass from He's going to call in. We need to show the world that the coolest people in the world, are our idols, the people we've known and watched all our lives on TV, they're behind us. We're not alone, and they are watching us. And they are asking us to unite to stop what's going on immediately. And it's down to law. Our rangers in this country are not allowed to shoot a poacher dead. Yeah, that's How is that possible? How do you stop them from poaching if you're not allowed to shoot them? If you can't stop them. And then if you arrest them, within a week or two, they're out and they're doing it again. 67% of them, are mo of most poachers caught, are released back. And they're the doing street. it again. So are you saying rangers should be allowed to shoot the poacher? Well, Absolutely, if, if that's what it takes to get them to stop. That's the only way. Let's put it this way. If, if somebody walked into the Federal Reserve of America with a m machine gun and a chainsaw with the explicit desire to steal the highest, valuables, most valuable commodity in that country, would they be allowed to walk into the Federal Reserve of America and walk out with all of that? with nothing happening to them. I don't think so. So why is that possible that a foreign person may enter our land and steal the most valuable commodity on the planet? It's valued at $140,000 a kg. That's more than gold. That's more than diamonds. And nothing happens. And I'm sorry, if a gunman walks into a bank full of people or a mall full of people and they've got a gun and they're going to kill the people, to me, Killing an animal or killing a person is no different. We're all souls and we're all one. And for anybody that's religious of any kind, one, the thing that I remember learning, and I'm not really religious, but I remember learning, if you're all, whatever you believe your God is, we're all a piece of God and we're all a piece of oneness. Absolutely. And if we're all connected, then killing an animal or killing a person is not gonna be any different. They're both wrong and they both need to be protected. People, have the ability to speak out and protect themselves. These animals don't, not from us. They can speak to each other. They can run from each other, and that's mother nature, and that's the cycle of life. But what we're doing to them is incredibly wrong. And so we have to find a way to make it right, and that's just all there is to it. Do you think allowing rangers to, to shoot at poachers might just encourage more gunfire? I think, do you think we would see more poachers and rangers being no, killed? No, because in Botswana, it's allowed. And there is very little poaching there. They don't go where they know that that can happen. It stops the problem. It's not going to create the gunfire. They're, it's going to keep them away because it's already been proven. Botswana put their foot down and said, we will not tolerate them coming in here. Zero we will shoot to kill. So do not come in here. And it's working. I mean, we're shipping rhinos to Botswana. They're relocating the animals there because it's working. Yeah. South Africa. So they've Italy. proven that works. It's not about killing them, but it's about the threat that we can, we'll keep them away. So they know that we can't do that here. So they come in. Wow. So it's just to know that we will do what it takes to protect our land, our people, our animals. We're all together in this. Now for anyone who wants to get involved with, with the initiative that the two of you are working on, how can they do that? So the fundraising site, it's going to go on for about another 24, 25 days. It's at chuffed.org slash project slash Shannon. And then after that, um, I'm going to be rebuilding my Animal Avengers site. So right now, if they go to shannonelizabeth.com, there is a charity page with donation buttons on there. 
And it's all ultimately going to be going to the animals, to the same places, to supporting these different projects. And eventually, we'll rebuild the Animal Avengers page. And uh, we might be doing something locally here for you guys soon, too. So stay cool. tuned for that. Exciting. Thank you both so much for coming in and sharing. Before I let you go, Shannon, I have to ask, have you put acting on the back burner for now? No, I wouldn't say it's on the back burner. Okay. I just came off of a project in Greece. Um, and I've always got it on my mind in different ways. I really want to be directing more than acting these days anyway. So I'm constantly producing and directing and thinking of projects and putting things together. So I have a few surprises on the horizon for you guys. Shannon, Charlie, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much for having us. And please join us on our Global Hangout on the 13th of September. I will for yes, sure. Yes, it'll be on his site, and that's charliesurge.com. Three o'clock, six o'clock, Central African time.